Welcome everyone back to another video and today we are going to watch the same thing. Comedy. Let's begin. What if you woke up one morning, everything was fine, you felt good, great even, amazing. Turns out, you manifested superpowers overnight. The question is, what would you want that superpower to be? Well, I have the answer already because I already asked you in this post. And uh, here's some of the stuff you guys said. Mm. Being able to summon any weapon you want, the only drawback being that you don't know how to use every weapon. This one is cool. You can make like swords and hammers and like a mega dome blaster 5,000. But the fact that it's kind of weapons based means like I don't really get to use that that much. Hello? Does anybody want to be turned to dust? <sighs> I mean, I just don't often get into life or death battles in my day to day life. You can make a very lucrative sword business, though. One sword, please. Ouch. There you go. Good power. Very neat. You get a gold star. There you go. The ability to fly. Flying is like one of the classic superpowers. Something I've always wondered, though would you need clearance to fly in government owned airspace? And, like, if I'm just trying to go to the beach, am I gonna be in trouble? But I would still love this even at much lower altitudes, like getting past crowds in hallways, need to get to work and don't want to go through traffic, need to run any errands. <laughs> the traffic one would be good, but I guess a right. car is better for picking multiple people up than flying. You can only hold so many people while flying. Why are your hands so sweaty? What? Also, you'll never need a quack quack seat back your chair because you never need to sit again. Good power though, through and through. I would be very happy with it. Gold star. Geokinesis, which would be terraforming, which would be shaping the earth. This is a very strong power. Say hello to a free house or a free wizard's tower. You could also stop a meteor strike on earth or be the cause of one. Getting around places would also be great. And also a bunch of other cool stuff. Look kids, it's Mount Rushmore. This is where your mom and I met. And we wanted to bring you here to this very special place so we could show you. Yep, that, we will do that. <laughs> Very good power, gold star. Next up, the superpower to bear with me. <laughs> this video is sponsored by Keeps. Are you in need of an affordable hair loss treatment subscription service? No, I think I'm actually doing pretty good. Keeps is an affordable hair loss treatment subscription. Why are you doing like that, though? <laughs> Description service that helps men keep their hair. Keeps is convenient and can be delivered right to your door instead of needing to go to the store. My chemicals! Keeps has a 24-7 care and support network of advisors and specialists to help you with any hair goals you may have. In addition to hair loss treatment, Keeps has a thickening shampoo and conditioner that makes your hair robust, powerful, and will demand respect. Keeps has everything mm. your hair needs delivered. I'm pretty sure that's just steroids on hair at that point. I mean, if you think about it, The Incredibles is the same concept. Right to your door with a subscription service that will remind you when you need refills. But hey, your... that's just a theory. A game theory. Hair domination Sad. goals. Hair loss stops with Keeps. Get 50% off your first order. Go to Keeps.com slash ice cream sandwich or click the link in the description. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash ice cream sandwich. Self-cloning. This is also very good. Need to clean a whole house? Need- There are so many things that could go wrong with cloning, especially with your mental image. There's reasons movies have, like, superpowers realistically, because it tells you, like, you think, oh, no, it's not gonna happen. Watch it. Think about it. Then tell me again. Some errands done? How about cloning yourself until every minute task is done by one person? You could also travel anywhere you want at crazy speeds. Point yourself at the direction your destination is. Then, clone yourself. Then both of you clone. And then all of you clone. And then you fall over. The only thing is that you might not survive the landing. Actually, wait, wait, wait. If this one works by Naruto rules, then that's really good. You could clone yourself a ton. All of your clones study different parts of things. And then when you recombine, all of the knowledge combines too. 
you can become like a super mega brain genius in like the span of an afternoon. And I think we could all think of someone who could really make use of that. Is it you? No. What? No. I'm the one who made the video. Why would I? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. He just roasted himself. What? What the heck? That doesn't even make sense. I'm the one who made this video. How does it even make sense? Thanks for watching. Jario has gone for a long time. More stuff coming for the channel, coming down the pipeline. I hope your New Year's was good. And and that's it. That was oddly quick. Huh. Well, great. Now I gotta make the FNAF thing. I have enough time for it. Um. But yeah. <laughs> God, that's stupid. But it's like the best thing ever. It's really funny. <laughs> Uh, I would not look good in a mustache, nor a beard at this point. Well. I'm going to put a community uh, poll, and I want you guys' opinion. Would you think I would look good with a beard or without a beard? I'm probably going to make this after I upload the video, or as I'm processing it, I'll put the community tab down. So when you see this, you can just go to my channel, go to community, and answer. Um, sadly, I can't see who answered. I'd like to. Because no one here, my videos, never comments. The only ones who do are maybe I've seen in real life and they've seen the channel. But I don't know. Like Back then in 2015... Like, 12 it's, even if it was a small channel you still commented like what what happened to that why don't you just comment again i'm not trying to pressure any of my viewers i'm just trying to ask like could you at least just comment once in a while not all the videos but you know just comment that's that's all like i'm not trying to pester you i'm not trying to make you ooh, subscribe like every other youtuber like i'm not trying to force you but i'm trying to like I just want to see y'all smile, okay? I know you guys are going through tough times. I have met... About 14 people that I have recommended my own channel to have medical problems, twitching problems, uh, seizures, like uh, actual problems. And I just want to them to watch this to make their day because i know that they're going through a tough time some of them some of them are actually having a good time but have doubt in themselves when really they just need someone to bring them up i'm not trying to you know like trying to annoy them or anything but i just want to see a smile if i could see someone smiling like this i look freaking creepy if i go <laughs> am i gonna be a jim carrey lookalike if I'm going to be a Jim Carrey lookalike, I, I want to look good. Just a smidge. But, uh... Oh, no. Oh. I mean, I got a mic. I don't have to use this, but... <laughs> My younger self would probably have a pet peeve of me wearing these, because they used to irritate the crap out of my ear to the point where I would get annoyed. And I would chuck these suckers off my ear because they would not fit where I could not hear anything outside. That right there is a half. Ow. Oh, and by the way, since my arm hurts, it's because I'm doing this. Ouch. So this is like in pain a bit. So, um, yeah, I'll try. I'll try to get the videos in. Um, I've also been told I look like Andrew Garfield a bit, and I don't see it. If anything, I look like a, a Nolan from The Rookie. If you look him up, I look at his old, uh, I, th I think it was NCIS or Blue Bloods. I can't remember, but it's one of the two. I look like a young version of him, which he ain't, he ain't bad looking. 
He's actually pretty kind. Nice guy. Uh, I wouldn't know, but I've I've seen the like people meeting with him, so he seems like a pretty good guy, you know. Um, I I really want to lose weight. I mean, I'm not fat. I'm I'm not chubby, but going at the pace I go, maybe. Um, I I really hope, cause the reason why I want you guys to, like just comment on my videos, so like I know I'm doing good, cause. You can't ex in YouTube like personally the guy who's making the video or a girl doesn't matter who makes these videos they don't know if they're doing a good job when they're starting you guys are the ones who need to tell us or we just stop making videos all together and once we actually enjoy these videos we'll get disappointed and they wonder why they stopped well, it's because part of you didn't tell us we need to know the feedback or like if an Uber driver does his job for 20 years and he never got one single comment he's gonna think oh okay they just don't care and then he could quit when he wants but that, like it was just pointless but if he gets like all mean comments he knows he's just ruining himself so he just quits like but if you tell him good positive things in life he's gonna keep doing it till the day he retires Dan TDM Map Pat, Captain Sparkles, uh, Tom, something I forgot his name. I'm sorry, but the, those those guys, uh, Mythical Kitchen, Rhett and Link just retired, and like they said, like things are the comments, things are the people. They actually that's why they kept going. If they didn't keep going, they really weren't ain't gonna do crap. If anything, so my point is, if if you can on these past Three videos, just comment something. Today, this day, on the 2nd, 18th, 2024, at 4 51 p.m. Just comment if I'm doing good, if I'm doing bad. That's all I want to know. Plus, if you comment, I just get an email. See your comment. I can't reply, but I, I could obviously see it. Um, but it's up, to, it's up to you guys. I'm pro, um, I'm gonna start the FNAF thing. Get it ready after I upload this particular video. Um, yeah, uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna probably cook some steak about 6 p.m. Yeah. Um,. And for the like streamers and stuff, I've actually and I've I've met some streamers. I met Ghost Panda VR. I've met uh, what was their name? Uh, I cannot remember. I'm sorry. There, there's I there's like about 15 streamers I've met that were like not famous but mild famous, and I'd like to meet more. And it didn't really start like that. But as soon as I make these videos, like I've started to meet them. Like. A weird phenomenon, I'll say, and most of it is just by chance, honestly. Like, I don't try to add, 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 friend, find them, find them like a creepy stuff. No, I just, they just appear in front of me. <laughs> so it's just coincidence, and I sometimes friend other people who are friends with them, and I, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that. It's crazy, huh? You meet other people, you meet the people who inspired you. I'd like to meet Stampy. He's retired now, I think, sadly. Stampy the Longnose, Dan TDM, Pat and Jen, um, Popular MMOs, GTGC Gaming, or TCTG Gaming Tone. GTTC Gaming, I think. His name's Tony. Mess yourself, um, Indian YouTuber, but, uh, Funny man, God, my eyes are hurting. Other than that, though, <coughs> yeah, those are foggy. Great. Yeah. Um. Oh, and uh, if you have a voice, you should like my room. Like, what stuff I have? Again. Comment like you, you can't expect me to know what of your ones you got to actually ask the question or it's not gonna happen I however 
next Saturday if anyone comments. And if you don't, it's probably not going to happen. I've seen the community polls. Four people want to see me play a horror game. Well, those people got to comment. Because I need to know who. I'm. Well, I don't really need to. I put the comment there for the reason. But still, it would be nice to know who. So I can thank them. Like, okay, well, I understand. Now, what type of horror game? That's the question. Or better yet, how about this? Comment down. What type of horror game on Roblox you'd like me to play? Have I tried Strict Dad? Yes. Do I understand the premise? No. Am I probably going to beat it? Mm -mm. Or I could play old good classics like Slenderman. That was the first ever horror game I played on Roblox back in the 2018 era. When I first started my YouTube. So, up to the viewer. I'm just the stream. I, if anything, you're the scripter. I'm the shower. So up, up to you. And any of that, 